I've said it before, the last time these great United States had meaningful tax reform it was the year I learned the valuable yet painful lesson that car engines need motor oil for continuous operation, a lesson learned at the cost of the four already poorly engineered cylinders in my dad's overmatched Plymouth Reliant K. Hmm, come to think of it, it seems like we've been waiting about 30 years to see an actual tax reform bill from House Republicans. At long last, dear member, we have a bill. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, originally planned for release on Tuesday, internal squabbling over details made it clear that we weren't going to have a bill and we're going to have to wait a little longer to see what they came up with. Now, we just got the bill, but we've already had a chance to do our search on the PDF looking for terms like LIFO and subchapter S. We've learned a couple of things. The bill lowers the corporate tax rate to 20%. We're still working through how pass-throughs will be treated, but first glance tells us that 70% of what is passed through will be taxed as wages with 30% taxed as profits at a lower 25% rate. All passive income is taxed at 25%. The individual tax brackets will be reduced from seven to four, a 12% bracket for joint filers making less than $90,000, a 25% bracket for income up to $260,000, a 35% bracket for income up to $1 million, and a 39.6 bracket is retained for income over $1 million. The death tax is repealed in 2024, so don't die just yet, I guess. In the meantime, the exemption is doubled to $11.2 million. Treatment of LIFO does not change under this bill. Business equipment investments under Section 179 may be fully expensed in the first year for the next five years. So why all the phase-outs and phase-ins? Essentially, this is a way for Republicans to pay for the tax cuts they want to make. Precious few lawmakers are talking about actually cutting spending to balance the budget, or more accurately, to lower the deficit. So Republicans are scrambling to find ways to limit the impact of the deficit over the 10-year budget window DC uses to keep score. One of the headline-grabbing issues we were watching in the lead-up to releasing the bill was possible limits on pre-tax 401k contributions. It looks like lawmakers realized the optics of limiting 401k contributions were so much worse than they thought, and they wisely decided not to mess with it. Smart, guys. As we digest the 400 pages plus of the bill, we'll know more. And this isn't going to be easy, and I don't think we're going to like everything in the bill. The NFIB and the Home Builders Association are already withholding their support. Now, we know the bill will change in House Ways and Means Committee next week. They're going to mark it up and they'll make changes. The House will pass something. Then we'll see what the Senate has to say about it. The bill is going through a process which will prevent Senate Democrats from filibustering it. But as we've seen, the problem in the Senate for Mitch McConnell isn't Democrats, it's some of his own Republicans. In the analysis, we'll have to ask, on balance, are we going to be better off with this bill than we are under the current tax code? I hope we'll be able to answer with an emphatic yes. As the president likes to say, we'll see. Republicans are going to take plenty of arrows over the next week. As Lincoln would say, the occasion is piled high with difficulty, and we will see if Republicans will rise with the occasion. By next week, we'll have been through this thing with a fine-tooth comb. We'll know a lot more, which is why you should join us for what promises to be a scintillating, or at least free, webinar next Thursday, November 9th at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific, for a more detailed look at the bill with our men in Washington, Paul Marchoni and Alex Ayers. You'll find a link to register in the video description below. If you have any trouble, just email me and I'll make sure you get registered. And that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for your support of NAD and thanks for watching.